Alrighty, welcome back everybody. This is Aussie Gamer 17 and this is another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. Today I am playing Kona and I am going to show you where to get all of the collectibles and how to get all of the achievements as we play through the game. Now guys, this game is perfect for an achievement guide because it is stacked full of collectibles and they can be really, really tricky to find. So here is a list of what we're actually going to be finding as, as well as some miscellaneous achievements on top of this. We are going to be finding six crossbow bolts, 16 cabins or houses, 48 documents slash journal entries, 16 pieces of evidence for the murder case you find in this game. 19 campfire sites, 3 games of chess, 10 treasure maps, 15 different photographs we have to take, and 6 talismans, and a lot, lot more guys to get all the achievements in this game. Now we're going to play through the first playthrough of the game, getting most or if not all of those collectibles, sorry no, we are going to get all of those collectibles in the first playthrough. Then we have to load a very, very late save to get two other missable achievements that if we got in the first, during the first playthrough, it would rule out a couple of other achievements. So there's a little bit of a tricky load that we have to do, uh, but the, the save slash load system is very, very simple to get those two achievements. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right at the end of the first playthrough. Then we have to do one speed run through the game because we have to finish the game without using any vehicles and you'll see Finding the collectibles is going to be made a lot easier using the vehicles. Uh, so it is much, much more time effective to actually get that no vehicles run done separately. So you'll find it is actually quicker to beat the game twice than to do it all in one playthrough, in my opinion anyway, at my pace. Okay guys, enough explanation. I'm going to get straight into it. I will split this series into a bunch of videos. I don't know just yet how many videos that will take as I record this opening. But as usual guys, I have practiced this entire game. I have got all the achievements to pop on a separate account. Uh, so I do know what I'm doing and I'm going to take you through it. I am going to skip all the story and stuff like that for this series just because I want to show you where each collectible is and I want to focus on that, guys. And you guys, if you're playing along, can enjoy the uh, story yourselves. All right, I think I already said this, but that is enough of an intro. Let's do this. All right, we're going to go straight into a new game, guys. You can use any save file you want. And we, uh, as you can see there, I've got a brand new account, so I can see the achievements pop in the recordings. Okay guys, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find yourself in control of the car here and we're just going to head along the road straight ahead. What I want to do though guys is just quickly explain the three uh, icons at the top of the screen. In fact, the, the four I may as well explain. The first one being your health meter. Uh, that can drop by obvious ways. The second being your warmth meter. There's a lot of time spent in the snow and out in the cold in this game. If you let that drop to zero, well, you can guess what could happen. The third meter there, we'll call that your stress meter. I don't know what the game officially calls it, but if you get a bit stressed or a bit overwhelmed, you'll see that dropping and then you lose things like stamina, you can't run as far. Um, I'm not sure really what else it really affects and it really won't come into play. We won't really have to think about it too much in this game. The fourth meter, the eye there, uh, just regards whether or not you're in the, the light and you can see or not, basically. Um, but that really won't come into play either because we'll be using our torch and fire and things like that to light our way throughout the game. Just wanted to get that out of the way, guys. Which had William Hamilton's name written uh, all But you just drive along here um, until the car automatically pulls over for you. Okay, guys, once you pull over and get out of the car and gain control of your character, turn around and head over to these trash cans here. You want to open up this one and you want to grab the empty bottle. That's something we're going to need way, way later in the game. There are plenty of empty bottles to be found, uh, but I thought that's going to be the easiest one for us to grab. Now, there's an achievement for not drinking. It says, the achievement description says, do not drink any alcohol, uh, but we can't drink any water either. I have tested it. It does avoid the achievement, guys. Uh, so don't drink anything. 
We're not gonna be picking up any other bottles in the playthrough. What we're doing is we're coming upstairs, up the tower, and we're gonna open this little trunk. We're gonna grab the bolt cutters, called the pincer in the game, and some fire starters. Make sure you grab those. We're gonna be starting plenty of fires uh, in uh, proper fireplaces, not actual arson, uh, throughout the game. So we're gonna need plenty of those. Now we can head back downstairs. And here we're actually going to work on our very first missable achievement, guys. Now, there is some uh, guest story related stuff that is not required for anything other than uh, a little bit of information inside the little uh, toll booth there. But what we want to do is break this lock, just walk up to it and hold the A button. Another day, Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Get rid of the chain and open the gate. It was time for him to there get we go. Down to now, you could go back, get in your car, and leave, but then you'd miss this achievement. Head over to this rock here, and we're going to pay the toll, I guess. To clear his conscience, a $10 bill. Carl was an honest man. There we go. The first of many rare achievements if you're following this guide early enough, guys. Now, go get in the car and drive down the road. You'll eventually get cutscene, and I'll meet you guys when you have control of your character once again. Okay, guys, here we are. We've just uh, crashed the car and woken it back up. What you want to do is turn around and head towards the other car involved in the little crash. The driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing Head to the back. trunk here and pick up the med kit from the boot, which is what we call the trunk here in Australia. <laughs> open this door. Come on, door, open. Can be very finicky to actually interact with what you want to interact with. Pick up the box on the chair here. Engraved with the letters WH. Carl thought about taking it. Was to be left a chance. I do believe that that particular box is literally just story related and not related to any achievement. But uh, what you do want to do is open up the glove box and pick up the first document, and it is the Isabel photo. You can flip it over and it's read the back. Poetry, that was. But Carl didn't care about you much. Once you have that, guys, just turn around. We're going to head back past our car. And down this path to the right, his life dependent. under this tree here, and here we're going to find South Atamapec, or however you say that, and that is the first cabin or building that we need to find for the achievement, which is Carl the Explorer. We have to find every house or cabin in Carl, the village. The one, There's going to be 16 of them. Cold. This is number one. Head up to the logs here, pick up a log and then head inside the cabin. Should be a lantern right there on the table, like that, close the door. What you wanna do, first thing you wanna do whenever you enter a building is you wanna find a light source if there is one and you wanna start a fire. So head over here because we picked up the log and we also have the matches and the fire starter. We're gonna hold A, start the fire. Now you'll see the warmth meter filling back up. The other thing you will see in the top right hand corner, it just disappeared, is the auto save icon. There are no manual saves in this game, guys. But every time you approach a fire uh, or you make your own fire, you are gonna get an auto save. So just keep an eye on those. Uh, and the game will actually keep, I think it's the last 10 or so auto saves. I can't remember the exact number now. Um, so if you went back to the main menu and tried to load, you would get the option of loading up the last 10 saves. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do here, guys, is we're gonna open up our menu, we're gonna open up our consumables, and we're gonna use the first aid kit that we got out of that car, because we took a lot of damage in the car crash. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to pick up the matches and the fire starter, and we're also going to grab the chains to go and uh, help our vehicle. So then what we're gonna do is leave. Always grab a log uh, once you've used the log that you've already got, uh, but we'll stock up on logs a little bit later. Sorry, and then we're gonna head back to our car. 
But yeah, it's a good habit to be in, even though we don't really need that log right now. Good habit to be in is to always have a log with you so you can start a fire. Head over to your truck and hold A to fix the uh, wheels and then get back in your car. And same as before, guys, we're gonna start just heading down the road. I'm gonna back out first. And what I'm gonna do, guys, uh, as the cutscene actually takes over here, I actually never noticed that in practice runs. Okay, now you're in control, but all I want you to do is follow this road, guys, and I'm gonna meet you at the automatic destination once you've got control of your character again. Okay, guys, and there we are, getting the our, our next achievement for reaching the general store, which is, of course, not missable and part of the story. And being here, guys, that is going to be the last time the game really takes control and uh, holds your hand in terms of where you do or don't go. Uh, so I won't be cutting out the uh, rest of the driving, I don't think, at this stage. Anyway, once you are here, make sure you head inside. Got plenty of do to do here, but we're going to head inside first and find a no dead body. You'll see you get a journal entry, but more important than that, guys... We're going to take out our camera by interacting with the body. Had to have been very close, but the fatal blow had been given before the victim even. Trying not to talk over him, but still, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a photo of the body, and that's going to give us two things. It's going to give us our first piece of evidence, but it's also our first photograph, and it will also unlock an achievement. Make sure you press A to keep picture, and then B to put the camera away. And there, there it is. I thought it wasn't going to pop for me there. Okay. And then we want to cover his body with a blanket. Carl felt a chill down his spine. And by inspecting the body. Was dead. Then who was going to pay him? And if you pick up this envelope here, guys, that is not only what evidence piece number that? two, it is also Carl document number two. So a few of these things the overlap. Address. Not it all of them, though. The address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. All right, now if we head down towards the back of the store, we're gonna find the fire starters on the other side here. I'm gonna pick up three more fire starters. We're also gonna just interact with these PO boxes, just story stuff you don't really need to do. Uh, what we do wanna do is pick up the cash register instructions. That is actually counted as document number three. And you do need to know to open the cash register, punch the price, two numbers minimum, and then press sale. Now there are other things that you can see that you can interact with guys, feel free to have a look around. But what you do wanna do next is head in here, the power will go off. Press left on the D-pad to get out your torch. We want the third drawer from the left. I'm gonna grab the duct tape and the matches. The fourth drawer is going to have our next document. So that's document number four According for to us. Log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Going to close that. Interested in the bunch of nearby addresses. Going to open the very place. next drawer and get the garage key. And then it is this. No, that is the last drawer there. Turn around. I'm going to move this ladder. Going to pick up the first aid kit. And very, very important thing that we want to grab for much later in the game, but you're going to head up this ladder and you're going to grab a bottle of sherry. We need this for a miscellaneous missable achievement later in the game. So make sure you grab the sherry and hop back down. Oops, I accidentally put my torch away. And then what we want to do is make sure we grab document number five on the uh, table or the Carl counter Jacob over here. Charles was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A and we want to open the cash register. Plainly see. I'm going to punch in two numbers, any two. But of course, I'm going to punch in 17 and sale. Open up the cash register. We are no thief. We are just grabbing a key. It's part of our investigation. Okay, now head back down towards the back of the store. 
And what we need to do is set this power switch to the generator, because obviously the mains power has gone off. And we're actually gonna be going to the garage, but you can only have one of these two places on. So the main store, we're gonna turn off, and the garage, we're gonna make sure that is slid to the right to on the on position, okay? So top one off, bottom one on, okay. And then we're gonna head outside this side door, guys. You'll see these wolves run away. Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Okay, walk over to this trash can, open it up for document number six, guys. Hate was in the air. Seems like some villagers barely tolerated each other. Okay, put that away. Now you're going to see this ice pile. We don't need the torch. Ice pile over here. You're going to see these all throughout the game. We only need to photograph one though, and we're going to do that right now. Carl was used to strange phenomena. So take out the camera. And a chunk of ice like this. Take As a photo. Came out of the ground. Make sure it says a keep picture, a and it doesn't give you the option to discard picture. That's basically how you know that it is an important picture that you need to keep. So put that away. Carl found a put the camera away. Was the camera faulty, or was it a possible lead? We're going to head over to behind the garage part of this area, and we've got a fire that we can start here. Once again, that's going to generate a save for us. And now you'll know that we don't have any logs, but we've got a log pile here. What I like to do is stock up on as many logs as you can carry. Once it's full, what we're going to do is we're going to run back to the car, back around the front of the garage. And we're going to go right to the back. And we're going to put all of the logs in here. So go to deposit and put all five logs in there. Uh, we will also put the bottle in there. We don't need the pincers at the moment and we certainly don't need the duct tape just yet. And there is an achievement for not smoking any cigarettes. So I'm going to put all of the cigarettes uh, in the back here. And we're not going to pick up any other cigarettes so that we don't accidentally smoke some. Sorry guys, make sure you take the tape. I can't believe I did that. I'm cutting this back into the video. Make sure you take the tape with you. Don't leave it in here. So that's me uh, withdrawing it from the car. Make sure, check your equipment, not your equipment, your inventory make sure you have the tape with you. We need that in just a second. Um, all right, pop all that in the back of the car and run back to the logs. What I want you to do is do about six trips until you have 30 logs in the back of the car. It's probably more than enough, but I like to just make sure um, that you're gonna have enough in case you make any mistakes and wanna go uh, light any fires that I don't light. And what I'll do is I'll meet you guys back at this fire here once you have 30 logs in the back of the car, or thereabouts. All right, guys, once that is done, do not forget to grab another log. Now, I also want to take the opportunity, guys, to say thank you for watching the video. It's not over yet, uh, but I am not, I'm going to be editing these videos in a way that I don't have my normal outro at the end of each video. I just want you guys all to uh, know that I thank you very much for all the support that I get on the channel. Uh, all the likes and the comments and anyone that subscribes to the channel, I really, really appreciate it, guys. Having recently reached 5,000 subscribers, I do feel very, very fortunate, guys. So thank you very much for that. Don't forget to grab a log if I didn't already say. Uh, also, I want to say, guys, if you want to support my channel financially, please join my Patreon page. Head over to Patreon and uh, give us a uh, follow there where you can become a member of the Aussie Army for just $1. Uh, and guys, I've got some really big things. If you check my goal on Patreon, you'll see that I'm working towards something so that we can start involving patrons a little bit more. Anyway, head from the fire into this door. There will be a link in the video description if you want to join my Patreon. Okay, what you want to do once you come inside, obviously get your torch out, open up the second drawer, grab some hardware, and open up the third drawer for some pliers. Okay, and that is the last piece that we need to fix the generator, guys. 
uh, and hopefully I cut the video in and we went and picked up or we made sure we've still got the tape. What you want to do is head it back around the back past the fire and over here we don't need the torch out and make sure we use the tape and the pliers to fix the generator and then turn the key to turn it on. We've already switched the power to the, to the garage. So then head back to the garage. Number one reason we're doing this guys in the garage is to restore power to the garage so that we can lift this car and we can get the crowbar there. So head over to the window and this switch, hit the green switch, the car will raise and we get ourselves a crowbar. It's gonna be used for a few things to help us get some items, can also be used as a melee weapon. Okay, now you can put that away for now by just pushing the B button. Heading out, we're gonna go around the front of the uh, general store now, guys. Interact with the top of this uh, post box. Something fell to the bottom of the box. All right, interact with this key here and grab the murder weapon. Now, of course, that is going to be evidence number four, I think it is. Are we up to four? Evidence number four, guys. And also what pick up the key here. Carl wondered. Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. Shame he got unlucky. And that is gonna open the box that we found. And that Hamilton's is going to be the Hamilton letter, and which is also evidence number five. And I realized by opening that, I uh, made a mistake earlier because it does have an evidence item in it. That is the box that we found in the crashed car earlier. And that letter will also count as document number seven uh, for the reader achievement. Head inside, guys. Head back down the back to the power box or power switch. Leave it on generator, but open up this box here again. Turn the garage to off and the store to on. And now we have light. We need to now head behind the counter and we need to turn pump number two on at the window here. Pump number two, turn it on. And now we can fill up our car. Or what do you call it? A truck in America. Pickup truck, eh? Open, open door. Thank you, thank you. All right, head round to the pump and fill her up. Hey, let me, let me there. Here we go. All right, then we're gonna turn around. We're not gonna get straight back in the car just yet. Gonna walk over to the right, over to this fence over here uh, where the opening in the fence is. Find the wolf tracks and follow them for a bit. Past this ice here. Should be going past another bit of ice. You can still see the wolf tracks slightly. And there you will find a frozen uh, person. What you want to do here, guys, is you want to get out your camera. Oops, if I could press the right button, that'd be great. Not the journal. Down on the D-pad is the camera. You want to get close enough, but not too close. Take a photo. And you'll see it there, it says A to keep the picture. The reason we want to do it from back here is as soon as we approach the iced man or the frozen man, we're going to get a vision. There's going to be an achievement for completing Gil's or Gil Lacanzi's. I don't know how to say his name. His vision. Uh, it is called the last stand, I believe, the achievement. Okay, so first thing you want to do is follow the footsteps. And by the way, that is photograph number three for the paparazzi achievement too. See him running away here. What's he running from? I'm not sure. Follow the footsteps anyway, and we're gonna find the next document. This should be document number eight, the mysterious the journal. This Make sure you turn all the pages and then close that. Gonna follow the footsteps a little bit more. Gonna find a handprint here. Interacting with that will unveil a necklace. What a necklace and, and some numbers engraved on it. That is actually, believe it or not, document number nine. All right, 
Then we'll press B to go back. And we're going to follow the footsteps some more. What's he doing? What was that? Oh, just the wolves again. Don't worry too much about that. This is all part of the vision. Follow the footsteps back to the truck out near the road. Open the truck and pick up his wallet, which is going to be document number 10. It should end the vision and we'll grab the achievement, the last stand. Now at least he knew who the unfortunate man petrified in ice was. There we go. Okay guys, you may have noticed during that vision we found a fire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to the wolf tracks. See the bit of ice here. So there's the uh, general store again. Follow the wolf tracks to where we see the frozen body. And when you can see the frozen body like I can just up ahead where this ice is, turn a little bit to your left and head through here and you'll see the fireplace right here. And there's the journal and everything as well. What we wanna do here is show you the map. That's where we are, literally south of the general store and where our car is parked. All right, from here, we're gonna completely turn around. We're gonna go back to the general store What I like to do, you can follow the wolf tracks. We're going to do a lot of following wolf tracks in this game, guys. But guess what so that will mean? More on that later. Did not feel his toes anymore. Yeah, you'll see that we're getting pretty cold. If you pause the game, you can see. Yeah, it's only just under half. But anyway, we're going to head past the fire. We're going to warm up. And then we're going back to our car. And we're going to drive to the residence of the uh, person's dead body that we just found. Or frozen body. See there, we get a save. And we're gonna go, once we're all warm, we're gonna go hop back in the car.